So here we have Friggs and Iron Briegel once again with the Banjo. Friggs bringing out the K Rule, and these two are not in my good books. They've already had their first game without me spectating. Very rude, they did not notify me that they were playing, so they're in my bad books, but it's fine. I'll commentate them anyway. They're allowed that much, okay? So, right now, uh, I believe it's Iron Briegel that has a point so far. So this is game two, I believe. I hope so. And yeah, we'll see what damage they can do. We have we have one Wi-Fi bear versus one Wi-Fi crocodile. I don't think I've seen this matchup in my life, and I don't know how how it makes me feel. <laughs> but yeah, so far it's pretty even, with uh, Friggs having the slight lead. But of course, that side B is going to beat out everything. But striking right back with the counter, Friggs is going to want to throw those grenades. Sorry, Friggs is going to want to throw those crowns. I mean, Briegel is one of going to want to throw those grenades. Zone each other out and then each they each have super armor that can also, you know, decide the battle. So two fairly similar characters, actually. But Friggs has got the first stock. We'll see if he can either get another one or if Iron Briegel can uh, knock out that K rule. K rule with Rage is, is very scary. He can rack up a lot of damage, keep you in disadvantage. He's already going for those uh those down smashes. Ooh, quite the snipe there. They never they never shoot it upwards. So now Frix is well in the lead. And Iron Briegel has two more stocks to take before he's even even. So we'll see what how this goes. I think one more side B will do it. But of course you don't want to throw them out willing willy nilly. That almost spikes. That almost spikes. I think he's trying to stall him now. No, nah, that won't. That side B is definitely gonna clip to the ledge. No, Iron Briegel really needs some sort of plan to get past this armor of cable. That side B could have been it. Strikes back with another one. Let's see if Rage Banjo can do anything nifty. Or he could SD. Hmm. Now I believe that's 1 1. Okay, so game three once again sticking to Banjo and Kaoru. I wonder how things will go this time because it's 1-1. One, one. So we missed the game where actually Iron Briegel was able to take uh, the first game. I don't know how close that was. But we'll see if he can replicate that success or if Friggs can replicate the success of that game we just saw. Quite a clean sweep really. Iron Briegel's really wants to get in there, but uh, Friggs is pulling up a wall of projectiles right now. Strange read on the forward smash there. I don't know if he was meant to do it that way or not, or if he was indeed trying to read a roll, but that's going to be it for the first stock of Iron Briegel. The back air's going to take it. And that armor is just proving to be very difficult to get past when throwing the side B. Maybe Iron Briegel's character just doesn't have the sort of tools to really get in without being overly aggressive. I'm sure he doesn't want to throw out random side bees, even if it is what I find. Never mind. <laughs> so Figs answering back for some damage, putting Iron Briegel up onto the platform. But we'll see. I wonder if he's picked like a. Uh, what if Iron Brig was picked like a larger stage? I wonder what the thinking was behind that. Goes another side B, definitely gonna be out the forward smash that Friggs was trying to do. Ooh, but the down smash, gonna read that roll. Neutral wear. Going for the edge guard. Gonna be eating up by that helicopter though. Okay. 
Is he going to go for it again, or just simple grenade throw? Probably the best option. Ooh, going to get that landing. Up here, not going to be able to do much at this percent. But the nice tech, but unfortunately buffered and air dodge afterwards. That leaves them each with one stock now. This isn't the sort of game where you want to make mistakes, because if it has to go to game four of you just needing to lose one more to lose the whole tournament, then it can really wear down your mentality. But now that side be not going to be enough. Going for the upper, okay. Instead of just the uh, simple up tilt. God damn it. Ugh. Either way, it could still be anyone's game. Side B from Kate, uh, Banjo does kill incredibly early. But Banjo's... I think this is going to be it for Banjo. Yeah. Going to eat that full smash right in the feet. And launch him right in the top right hand corner. And that's another one. Two freaks. Iron Briegel running it back to town, and I think he just wants to adjust his strategy more than the stage itself. That's probably the plan that's going on here. We'll see. Frigs again throwing up those those walls of projectiles that are very difficult to get by. And we'll see if Iron Briegel can make some magic happen if he wants to save this set. The side be actually going to be beaten out before the uh, invincibility starts out. And Frigg's just able to comfortly just stay on the ground, uh, throw out projectiles. He's doing a bit more approaching now, but it's just getting him hit, really. And, ooh, I'm surprised that grenade didn't actually uh, affect Banjo at all. I was tempted. Ooh, the air dodge in to land. That sent at a strange angle. But Banjo, yeah can definitely die if hit by one more thing, but also has all the rage now. Could So it could potentially make it back if Friggs doesn't mash, but Friggs is mashing, it's on point. So gonna eat a neutral air instead and die that way. DI could have possibly been sus since it sent him the opposite way. Oh, and a very unfortunate SD. I think he buffered that down air. I think the mentality might have been a, a bit gone now. Then again, the side B lands at Mark. Iron Briegel could possibly pull something out their sleeves in order to uh, bring the set back. But no, gonna be caught out by the armor there, and it just leaves Freaks to just deal a load of damage in return. Side B gonna save him. Two feathers left. And I think that's, that's definitely it for Iron Briegel. And the set goes to Freaks.